Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here, back again with another video. Um, so let's jump right into it. If you have seen uh, any of the updates, any of the sports updates, any of the news, uh, you know that the Chargers are signing uh, former Denver court, former Denver Broncos cornerback, uh, Bryce, Hall Bryce Callahan. They're signing him to a one-year deal. Um, and, you know, I see the, the immediate reception um, online was, man, another cornerback. How many cornerbacks do we need? Um, and, you know, I think, it, I think it's a fair um, assessment uh, at this point, you know, especially considering the Chargers took the uh, three DBs in the draft. Um, but let me allow, allow me to point this out for everybody. Um, you know, especially if you have forgotten, like this is Brandon Staley's first, very, very, very first full off season as the Chargers head coach, right? Um, he got hired last year, um, I believe it was early March. So from the time he gets hired to the time that the draft happens, he he has maybe five to six weeks, right? To, you know, help uh, scout talent, you know, help in the draft process and, and, and things like that. And, you know, if you talk to anybody who has any experience around the, the, the draft process, the scouting process and all that stuff, Five to six weeks is nothing, right? The the local area scouts, they start doing their work, uh, you know, year in advance, you know, of a guy, you know, if, if they expect him to declare for the draft or whatever, they start doing work at least a year in advance, year and a half in advance. So they, they are continually, you know, going and, 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 and talking to the players and, you know, trying to gauge where they're at mentally and things like that, you know, looking at their their uh, progression and all that stuff. So Brandon Staley only had five to six weeks last year. So, you know, he I'm sure he did have some input in, in the draft, but most of the draft and, you know, the draft board and everything, you know, he wasn't a part of, um, you know, to to, you know, for the most part, you know, except for those little five or six weeks that he did, you know, um, have when, when he did get hired. So this is his first full off season. Um, now, I don't know, I'm not sure if there's, if he's had any vacation or if he took any time off from the ending of the season, but I do know, and especially, you know, if you go and look at, if you've been on the, the Chargers website, chargers.com, if you look at the social media, uh, you know, all the videos that they post of, you know, players getting signed or whatever, Brandon Staley's there at the facility. He's there at the facility, he's there in his office. Um, so, it leads me to believe that he probably, if he did take some time off, it probably wasn't a long time, uh, you know, maybe a week or something, and he's back to work. So this signing of Bryce Callahan, this should tell you as a Charger fan, this should tell you that Brandon Staley has been um, in his office at the facility, breaking down tape, watching every single offensive play, watching every single defensive play of the 2021 season. Um, and there were probably things that he not even not necessarily didn't like, but there's probably things that he's seen that could have been, you know, improved from the defensive backside. And I think that's why there is this influx of, of defensive backs who are, you know, coming in to, to the, the defensive back room for the for the Chargers now. Um, and I think he is, again, and I alluded to this in, in a video uh, um, last week after the draft, this is a philosophy thing. So if he sees something that could be corrected or if, even if it, he, he's, even if everything was okay on tape, this might be a signal that Brandon Staley might wanna take his defense to the next level, right? Um, there might be there might be some things that he, he might do differently this year as far as, you know, play calling as far as just the scheme, right? There might be another level of scheme that this can go to. Um, Brandon Staley is a student of uh, Vic Fangio. Vic Fangio is one of the greatest defensive minds ever, ever in, in the history of the uh, NFL. So I'm sure that, you know, as far as playbook goes and just the, just the, the, the overall scheme, the um, different things that you can do in the scheme, right? It's a multiple scheme. So you can come out, you can do multiple things, um, but you know, you need DBs to cover, you know, you can get as exotic as you want up front, but if your DBs can't cover, then, you know, you're gonna end up getting burned. And uh, you know, he obviously knows that. And I think that's what a lot of this has to do, you know, with the drafting of the three DBs, 
uh, bringing in, you know, Bryce Callahan. I think it has to do with wanting to go to the next level in the scheme, right? The, the, the Chargers defense was not great last year, but, you know, if anybody remembers starting off the first five weeks, I believe, the defense played really well. Um, and I think it was, a lot of it had to do with, you know, Brandon Staley coming in, you know, having a new scheme, right? A lot of teams were used to the Gus, Gus Bradley defense. A lot of teams were used to the players on that Gus Bradley defense. Uh, Brandon Staley came in and he changed things up. And, you know, teams were not, you know, especially in the first first month of the season or whatever, um, you know, the Chargers are showing them something different. They're showing them things that they haven't seen on tape, you know, especially from them, you know, the, the, the same players, but they're doing different things. So I think a lot of teams really struggle with that. And I think that's probably what Brandon Staley is looking to do again this year. I think he's probably looking to put some more stuff on tape that teams haven't seen. Um, and, you know, ultimately you need DBs to do that. So I think a lot of a lot of it has to do with Brandon Staley just trying to get comfortable, trying to establish his mentality, trying to establish his philosophy. Um, and a lot of it has to do with having uh, reliable, dependable guys on the back end. So I think that is that has th this signing, you know, is pretty much predicated on that. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another another DB who got signed right before um, training camp. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, Another thing is that Bryce Callahan knows Brandon Staley's system. Bryce Callahan came from uh, the Denver Broncos. Um, he was with them the, the previous two seasons. And before that, he was with the Chicago Bears. Um, and that's where Brandon Staley, you know, was coaching with, you know, uh, Vic Fangio. I think he was a linebacker coach um, in Chicago. And then, then uh, Fangio gets hired in Denver and uh, Staley follows him to Denver as well. So Bryce Callahan knows he's been in this defense uh, his entire career. So it makes sense why he would want to come to the Chargers as a free agent. Um, but again, I think it's a guy who, again, he knows the defense. So having a guy who has played in his defense for, this is going to be what, his seventh season now, seven, six, seven season in the league. But having a guy who's played in the defense his, his entire career, having bringing a guy into that um, defensive back room, it is an asset. It's definitely an asset. Um, I think the guy's going to be able to learn a lot from him, you know, especially the rookies, um, because he understands what the scheme is. He understands what, you know, Vic Fangio uh, wanted, you know, the defensive backs, what he wanted out of them. Um, he understands what Brandon Saley wants out of the defensive backs. So I think this is this is definitely a perfect match, you know, I think, uh, as far as, you know, bringing in a guy who does know the defense. You know, he's, he's a guy you don't have to, um, you know, kind of indoctrinate him, so to speak, into what the deep, you know, the, the defensive scheme. He knows it already because um, he's played it his, his whole career. You know, I'm sure he probably knows it um, probably just as well, probably as Staley now. You know, if you've been in a, in a system for, you know, your whole entire NFL career, you know, you are going to know, you know, the ins and outs of it at, at, at that point, you know, especially going through all, you know, all these games, 16 games a year for six years or whatever. Um, all that practice time in between, training camp time in between, you know, you know that defense now. So it's going to be an asset in the DB room. Um, and also, you know, I think the the biggest thing with this, I think, and the biggest positive that I take away from this signing uh, is that Brandon Staley is really increasing the level of intensity in the building. Um, and this is just one position group. Um, it might be another position group next year, right? It might be the linebacker group next year. You know, you know that at this point right now, I think the linebacker group is the the weakest uh, group on on defense. Uh, but we'll see how they play. You know, in the second year in the defense. But I think this is a going to raise the level of intensity. There's going to be there is going to be DB competitions in camp. That's the one thing you can count on um, and book it. You know, when camp comes, and you start watching the camp coverage and all that stuff. There's going to be DB competitions definitely. The only spot that really is sealed up, the only starting spot that's sealed up is Derwin James, obviously. But um, everybody else is going to have to compete, right? The rookies are going to have to come in and compete. Callahan's going to have to come in and compete. Um, you know, I think Michael Davis is going to be competing. I think uh, Sante Samuel, they're going to be competing as well, too. Um, you know, just because you started last year doesn't mean anything. You know, especially if you have these rookies who the Chargers just drafted, you know, all of them run under 4-4. They're all 4-3 guys. Um, if they have any you know, if they have any DB skills, if they are able to make it harder for guys at the line of scrimmage, 
Um, if they're able to play with their head on a swivel, if they're able to stay away from penalties and stuff like that, they're going to get on the field, right? Uh, I don't know if they're going to start or not, but they will get on the field. And I think this raises the level of intensity. And I think this competition is really going to be um, a great thing for the team. And, I, and, you know, hopefully it spills over, you know, to all the other position groups, right? I, there, there could be a little bit of a competition at offensive line as well, too, right? But this is going to bring just more competition, more competition, raise the level of intensity. Um, and when you have a, you know, a high level of intensity, you know, you have a high level of urgency as well, too. And, you know, I think that's something that the Chargers are already going to have with the way that the, the, the season ended last year. But, you know, again, the intensity in that group, in that room is going to be very, very high. It's going to be a lot of competing. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to see the outcome of that. You know, I think this is something that the Chargers have needed for a very, very, very long time. Um, you know, all the Phillip Rivers years and all that stuff, you know, there were, you know, there, there, there were groups who, who, you know, you maybe had competitions, but it wasn't a sense of urgency. There was no sense of urgency needed. There was no really intensity. It was just kind of like, oh, you know, the Chargers are starting another year. Phillip Rivers at quarterback and, you know, We'll see what happens, right? And and that's pretty much what it was. This is the intensity that the Chargers have needed for a very long time. Um, again, I think Brandon Staley wants to make this team as physical as possible. But, you know, you having a DB room as well, too, right? You want to bring that intensity into that room. You want those guys to be hitting. You want those guys to come up and help in, in uh, the run game, you know, provide run support. And you want those guys to be physical, right? Take on the, the personality of, of Derwin James, right? He's a very physical DB comes up, you know, does a lot of hitting and stuff like that. You want that to spill over into that room. Um, and I think that th this signing and, you know, possibly another signing, you know, you never know, right? You never know who's going to get cut before then or who's going to get traded and whatnot. But I think this is going to be a, a, a huge positive for the Chargers. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I think it's going to turn out very well. The, the uh, intensity the competition is what the Chargers need, is what the doctor ordered, and um, I'm, I'm very, very much looking forward to this season. Um, and I'm looking forward to the, you know, the obvious uh, DB, you know, training camp competition. So we'll see what happens going forward. But um, that's pretty much all I got on this one, guys. I think it's a good signing overall um, for everything that I mentioned. And, you know, just because Bryce Callahan knows, he knows the defense, right? So, and it's a one-year deal. It's, no, it's not a long-term commitment, and it's not a lot of money either, so. Um, but we'll see what happens going, we'll see what happens going forward. Um, overall, good signing for me, but that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. Uh, please, 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 uh, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. I have more content coming out very, very soon. Thank you guys for all the support, and uh, until next time, thank you.